This is to say, God only God has a final say. Men can say, no, this is not possible. They will not favor you. But mind you, if it is God's will, there's a way God does when he wants to show his glory. I'm telling you, he'll make a way. I'm telling you, literally. And this is, I saw the hand of God. I'm telling you, and I give glory to God. And I want to encourage someone out there. If you have something in mind, just do it and ask for God to uh, ask God to help you. Do you understand? To go before you, you know. The Bible says that he will make all the uh, crooked place straight, you know. He's the one who makes way where there seems to be no way, you know. He's the way maker, you know. He's the one who opened the door that no man can shut, you know. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Miss Yanko YouTube channel. If you are new here, you are at the right place. This is Miss Yankler, the French girl. <laughs> I am from Benin Republic. The Republic of Benin. If you are out here, thank you because you keep supporting me. I'm so grateful. I do not take it for granted. And thank you for being my virtual family. <laughs> so guys, today is story time. Right? Story time. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I'm doing this. I'm I'm on my way to the airport. This is Sunday. I don't know the date today. I think second. Third. Sunday third March 2024. Right? I'm on my way to my um, um to the airport and then from here I'm going to Turkey and then from Turkey South Africa. So I'll only land tomorrow, Monday, fourth right okay this is story time vlog i'm so excited i love sharing stories i love talking <laughs> yeah and then so first of all my testimony is huge guys my god is good all the time he is indeed the god of the 11 hour right then it's a long story so sit down if you want pause first when do popcorn or chips or something i have mine <laughs> i'm eating because i woke up so hungry so and sit down and then listen god is so good guys god is so good i give glory to god so guys you know online i'm a child of god okay so it, online i usually um um listen to um message, messages Sorry guys. I usually listen to messages, right? And then or prayer. Prayer and then they said God the God of the eleven hour, right? People usually say that and then they pray. Meaning in a year there is twelve months, right? So the eleven month is November and God of the eleven hour. Meaning if he has not been able to do what you're expecting for the whole month, have hope at the eleven minutes he can still do it. Maybe that's why they call him the God of the living hour. He can still do miracle, you know. Miracle at the last minute before the 12th hour, the 12th month, which is December. Okay, I, I, I believe so. So, I was praying last year. And then I was telling God, God, do you call the God of the 11 hour? Show me the 11 hour miracle. Because I saw on my university, Stellenbosch University, there was a, a, a grant. It was... um travel grants so i have um i wanted to apply but i was so busy writing that i forgot like you know when you are so busy you don't have time anymore like it's keep your mind because there's a lot of things so i was like oh no i will do it later i keep i kept postponing until the last day of the month of november last year 2023 i was like oh my god i need to apply for this so i had the submission that day when I finished my submission, God was like, apply, apply for this. And I'm like, but time is gone. Because when you fill all the stuff, you have to put um, the, the head of department has to sign. And then the dean of your, 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 of your faculty has to sign. So I was like, and it was, they closed at four o'clock in the university, like they knock off. So I was like, it's all already four. I don't know if I can make it. If I send them email, they will surely reply the following day. Let me go and see them in person. Like I felt in my spirit that I needed to go and 
see them in person then i went and then um i went to fusion's department and then the head of the department was not there so i was discouraged and i was like should i work until campus no i'm discouraged like the person i was with my colleague said but you already came here so the worst you can do is to go to the university the other side go to the dean office and he will say you are he's not there so you never know just try so i was like let's go and then we went we went even to the wrong dean <laughs> we went to the dean of the faculty of science i was so sure that this was the faculty of agri-science i do not know why and i went and i knocked and then it was closed people has left so some someone came to open and say oh who do you need and i say oh i want to speak to the dean of the faculty of science and it was the dean speaking to me don't know. and she was saying what do you need her for um there is this thing i wanted to sign you know i wanted the signature and then when she saw it she said i am the dean but this is the faculty of science and i said oh my world you know the story that came to my mind like when jesus died and woke up and then he was there with them but they didn't know that he was there like you know some sometimes the real person you're looking for is there but then we are looking just far <laughs> yeah this is the bracket open and closed but anyways she directed me to where the dean office is so i went there to the dean office when i went the door all the door were closed and i didn't have access sorry i didn't have i didn't have access to that build, particular building you know so and there was nobody because it was after four so people have left actually so i was just at the door hoping that somebody will open and i will you know stick in so i was there and then i saw a girl passing and then um she opened for me when she opened i entered with my colleague and then i was like how oh, i would like to see the dean do you know where is the dean office she said, she said oh the dean is not there he's gone and also the secretary is gone you have to go through the secretary to go and see the dean you know and i was like can i at least go show me where is the office i want to go and see with my eyes that the office is locked <laughs> that's what i said and then she's like okay but it's, it's not there you see it's not there the secretary office is even closed you, you could see right like it's like exactly it's like you know there that you're seeing and it is a door there so down the corridor the door was closed so you could see it was a secretary door but the team door was um nearby so i was like let me go and see with my eyes and she said okay you can go you never know you can try so i went guys i went i went my faith i'm like thomas <laughs> in that situation i was like thomas i wanted to see so that i know that i have gone till the end of my assignment like you know i didn't give up halfway and this is something i want to encourage you guys with do not give up like do not give up when god promises you something or place something in your heart do your possible and go to the end and see you know because oh god it was just a good testimony so i went there and i saw that the office of the secretary was closed and i didn't know exactly where was the dean office so i was trying to read on the door dean 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 i could not see so i saw a guy coming a lecturer coming out of the toilet and i say i thought that he was the dean i say oh good morning sir good afternoon sir i would like to see the dean do you know where is the dean office and then he said oh just there and i said oh okay i went and i knocked the door was open guys and i oh, i knock and i opened the door well I, the door was open actually and so i knock when i knock the dean was like ha oh, good afternoon and i say oh good afternoon sir um i need your help he said how what can i help you with i need your help with there is something i apply for and i need you to sign and then the dean said um can you present yourself which faculty are you from i, I want to know you and can you please have a seat and i sat and i started talking with the dean and i was like I am Luriana Klo. I'm from the faculty of, you know, agri science, food science. I was presenting myself, and then I told them that, oh, this is this app. I wanted to apply for this, and I saw that he has to sign. And then I printed the stuff and I brought it to him. 
So when I gave it to him, you know, of course, he will not, you know, people don't just sign things, you know, you know, they have to check because what if it's some agreement that I will take millions from his account now he signed, yeah, you never know. <laughs> so he checked, when he checked, he told me that, ah, this you didn't feel it right, you know, and the amount that you want, put double, for example, so that, and put that you have other source of income. This is what they want to see. That if you have, you know, other possibility, then they can give you what you are looking for. But if you put the small amount, they will give you smaller than that. You see, guys, I will have put some be very big, you know. So when I put, and he said, um, do you have your USB here in the office? And I said, no. He said, do you stay far? And I said, um, quite a bit, like 15 minutes away. And he said, okay, if I give you my computer, can you be able to assess your login so that and retrieve your document so that you can change it and I print it for you and then assign it? And then I couldn't remember my password. You know, this university, <laughs> you have to be changing your stuff every three months, you know. So at that moment, I couldn't remember my password because you know, when I log in in the on my phone and then the computer, it asked me different passwords. I never understood this thing. I don't know. I need to fix fix it so i went and then um he said you know what it's okay he used a pen and then he told me where to change stuff right and he said you know what um go to your office and then all the correction i i told you i gave you include them and then resend by the time you come to your office I will send you my signature via email and I will send you my recommendation because the dean has to recommend and then place signature. So he sent it to me via email, right? He put it by email and he attached his signature and then he sent it to me. So when he sent it to me, by the time I got to the office, I saw it. So when I saw it, I was so grateful to God. And I was like, oh, wow, God, you are indeed God of the 11 hour. You made everything possible. Like, only that access, that privilege, you know, I was, I am blessed and highly favored. <laughs> like, I felt blessed and highly favored. I'm not going to lie. So when I went back to the office, I felt, mm, I filled um, the document, then copied the recommendation, type in, and then place his signature, the dean's signature, right? Then when I did that, I now left, um, I sent now an email. I put my signature as well then i replied to the email i said thank you so much dean um, um for your help and you are very helpful okay i put it in a better english right <laughs> then when i did that um um when he was sending me the recommendation and his signature he was so he's so wise enough to copy the head of department of food science so he copied when he was sending it to me so when I filled the paper, then I was now addressing the email to both of them to thank him and secondly to secondarily, hmm? secondly, secondly, <laughs> to ask uh, the head of my department, food science, to please sign this and put a recommendation for me for this opportunity. And remember, first of all, I went to the head of department office and he was not in the office, right? So when he saw the email, he was like, Lorian, you caught me just right on time. Here we go. And he signed it. He signed it automatically. Because before, the dean was suggesting that if you are not able to get hold of the, your head of department, still submit with my signature. You know, submit before midnight. Because the deadline was that last day of November last year. He said, still submit your work, uh, your application. And then when your head of department signed, you can resubmit another one the following day so that they can see that at least you made it for the deadline just that you forgot something or the other person was not available that's all you see which i was planning to do but luckily by the grace of god the head of the department replied to the email lorian you caught me just right on time you know <laughs> and and i reply i say thank you so much prof i am indeed blessed blessed i say highly blessed or favor i said something like that in the email <laughs> and then guys then i travel i went home in benin benin republic for um holidays right so when i went home i went and my passport was expiring this year 2024 november also my visa my south africa visa was expiring in march 
March, yes, March 2024. We are in March. So my visa also was expiring. I didn't want to renew it. And I, I wanted to leave South Africa as well. So I was like, I don't want to do it. So the Holy Spirit put placed in my heart that go home, use your saving, buy your flight, flight ticket was expensive, guys, last year. It was so expensive. Holy Spirit was like, go and buy your flight ticket, go home, apply for everything, renew your passport, and apply for a new visa. Just do it. Don't wait for anyone to do anything for you. Don't wait for your supervisor and all these things. What if he does not do it? You will be stuck. Just go and do it. There are many opportunities for you this year. And as a good girl, I listened to the Holy Spirit. You know? So I bought my ticket. Like, I did everything at the last minute last year because I was not sure of going home. You know? So I went, I bought my flight ticket because that was now in December. I bought my flight ticket. And then, yeah, I started doing all the things. When I went home, I renewed my passport and I got my new visa. This was also another testimony, guys. I'm full of testimony. When I got my visa, I came back to South Africa, right? So when I came back, when I was home, I was sent an email saying, the conference you are applying for, do you have, like, can you show us a confirmation that you are presenting something or... Or they send you they wanted something tangible and thank god that period the conference organizer they sent me an email that email was what it was about the logistic and everything that if you receive email this email is because you have been registered and all this thing and they were telling us the logistics so i just transferred that email to the grant application stuff so i already knew in my spirit that mm, favor favor and i was praying for faith i was praying for favor guys I was praying there's this um um this video by apostle joshua selman 45 minutes of favor provoking prayer guys you must do it do it I, rec I highly recommend it i'm telling you i used to do it like almost every day as much as i remember or i have time for it or in the midnight so i responded to the email so when i came back to south africa um the conference i didn't submit my abstract I sent it to my supervisor, he didn't submit the abstract. And we planned two abstracts. Two abstracts. I sent it to him, he didn't submit. So when I came back on the abstract, the deadline for the abstract was 15 January 2024. So I asked my supervisor that ah, I came back. That was one of the reasons why I came back early enough from home. I came back 13 January. I left 12 January and I came back to South Africa. Um, to South Africa on the 13th January because I wanted to have two more days, you know, to be able to The 14th was Sunday and of course I wanted to go to church and the 15th Was on a Monday, I think so. Yeah, so I saw him in church and I asked because he went goes to my church I asked, ah, did you submit my abstract? He said no. I said why and he gave some excuses. And I said, okay, no problem So I was like, you know I told my other co-supervisor and I was like, oh, this is it. Um, I don't know what's going on. And she said she asked him, right? So later on, they didn't submit the abstract. It was 15 January, right? 15 January, the abstract was not submitted. So I was like, oh, you know, my mind left the conference. I was like, it's okay. But then I felt like, what if they give me that grant I have applied for? Because I have that strong feeling that I'm going to get it. So what if they give me, you know, what will I do then? I will forfeit it because it was only strictly travel grant in Africa for conference. And I already put the country, I put Morocco during the same. Like I, I put specific details, the title of the conference, the title of my abstract. I put everything, you know. So it was meant only for that. So I was like, what should I do? I forgot about it then there were other, many other things to do at that moment so you know what happened now God made a way like there was another conference in Pretoria and my customer was also saying oh you should apply for this and I'm like I'm not really interested and she you know God was using her to tell me to apply so since as we plan to submit two abstract for the Morocco conference she said just choose one since we have not submitted them just choose one we apply for Pretoria and then I will look for um travel down to where you are there where I was um based in Stellenbosch so that we can go physically for the conference which she did and then they accepted my abstract 
they, de they even delayed in the abstract guys we need to pray some people because they have great destiny the devil will be fighting them so much because they release the money but then they release the money uh, for this conference in pretoria but then if the abstract was not accepted the money will go back you know and on sunday i went to church there was i think um we call it sunday with the difference it's like a miracle service or something like that and then our pastor um was praying say ah there's someone because we have to do three days of prayer and fasting wednesday thursday and friday and then the sunday is miracle service so our pastor was like she was praying saying a lot of things that god was telling her and then she said one this one i received for myself um that there's someone the what oh, i don't know how she put it but then as she prayed there was like an open door do you understand and that same day before the end of the day i received an email saying congratulations your abstract has been accepted and we apologize for not sending me to you early enough you know so it was an, a mistake on their behalf like a delay imagine so that's how i prepared everything i bought my flight ticket the booth a cute hotel um i have even uploaded the vlog when i went to pretoria yeah so we went for the conference but then mind you that conference was god helping me opening door because after i submitted the abstract then during that same period i got another email saying remember the god of the 11 hour <laughs> the travel grant i applied for they said congratulations you have been awarded the grant so i was like i was happy but then i was like we didn't even submit the abstract 15 january was passed because we were then in february what will i do so i called the conference organizer in morocco no not that i call i email and i said this is my situation this is i didn't apply because i didn't know that i would have fund funding because i was waiting for the funding but it has been released this is my abstract and they said ah lorian i will send you a, a specific link so that you can use it and upload your abstract did you see how god was making things work together for my good guys let's give a round of applause to god <laughs> So guys, God was working everything for my good because I went now to inform my supervisor that, oh, this, this, this is what happened and then God made a way for me. So he tried to upload my abstract, he could not. So I said, oh no, they sent me a link. So that specific link he used to upload my abstract, it worked. So now I was officially part of the conference, you see. So this is to say... God, only God has a final say. Men can say, no, this is not possible. They will not favor you. But mind you, if it is God's will, there's a way God does when he wants to show his glory. I'm telling you, he'll make a way. I'm telling you, literally. And this is, I saw the hand of God. I'm telling you, and I give glory to God. And I want to encourage someone out there. If you have something in mind, just do it and ask for God. To uh, ask God to help you, do you understand? To go before you, you know. The Bible says that He will make all the uh, crooked place straight, you know. He's the one who makes way where there seems to be no way, you know. He's the way maker, you know. He's the one who opened the door that no man can shut, you know. So, <laughs> so then He, um, um, when they accepted the abstract, they sent me the document, congratulations letter, um, official letter, invitation letter. So then, pa, 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 I asked them, please give me. Uh, this 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 and i went to look for the visa stuff right and then another testimony when i wanted to apply for the visa guys you know those of you in south africa is like vfs you know you go and book an appointment for your visa and you go there to drop you know the document but there was no date available the conference was supposed to start 26th of february there was no date available before only on the 26th i think so or the 23rd and it takes 10 days to approve your visa the morocco ambassador they use 10 days 10 you know so i emailed the embassy and i told them that oh i'm supposed to go for a conference and then this 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 is it and then there's no appointment date and this is quite urgent um can you help um and i'm in pretoria next week i will be in pretoria next week which day can I come? You see? So they email me back and they say, ah, you can come this, this, this time. 
and i was like okay no problem i will do so so i was so great i am so grateful to god that he made the way so actually he made me go to pretoria you know for that conference because the embassy was in pretoria because it's two hours flight from cape town right so i think he, god made me go there so that i can use that opportunity to apply for my visa guys part of my testimony i'm going at the embassy and i pray that the lord grant me favor the embassy in morocco so that they can give me here yeah, i'm here in pretoria i came for a conference i'm presenting my poster i printed it and uh, i asked my friend to take me to the um embassy it's so yeah you see you see the hand of do you see the way god made things he he made everything work together for my good like i'm just grateful so when he did that i went and applied for the visa the first thing they asked where is your accommodation later and all these things you see so god just made the way all through and i'm so grateful so when i apply then i came back from the conference i came back to um Cape Town in Stellenbosch. So, bye. bye. We have a nice trip. Vlog, <laughs> vlog will be up tomorrow, 15 February 2024. Right. So, when I came back to Stellenbosch, then I was like, Whew, I can start now preparing because I'm now praying for favor so that they can accept the visa. You know, sometimes people are just crazy and then they just, they just say, no, no access for you. So, ah, I didn't want that. So, when I came back, I started I preparing and i was so busy because i needed to submit now the full paper guys this is another thing i learned <laughs> i knew it but then i was just lazy because my mind was no more on the conference the moment since last year the moment i applied for the abstract i wrote the abstract and i applied for the travel grant one of the aspects of faith is faith is the substance of thing hopeful right the evidence of thing not seen you don't see it but you know that you will get it this is faith by the grace of god you know so i'm supposed to write the full abstract get ready for everything so that when god opened doors everything will fall into places i relaxed i knew that i would get it somehow but i was not 100 percent sure but i relaxed i'll have used that opportunity to finish the abstract but also i was doing other work as well there was some of the correction of some of my papers that uh we submitted to the examiner they sent us review i needed to do it so there were a lot of things i was doing in between also i was just tired i just needed a break in my brain you see so next time when you are doing something i'm talking to myself as well when i apply for something i prepare in consequence so that at the last minute i'm not overwhelmed by you know all this going here and there you see so yeah that's what happened and i applied for the visa i came back to Stellenbosch. then i finished the whole paper Oh, this was the only thing I was doing. I finished the graph. It took me so long. I wrote writing a full paper in just, it was a, in a week I finished it or less than a week. And I submitted the full paper. Then I got the visa. I think a day, two days before I started. Good morning, guys. Well, welcome to my YouTube channel. So remember when I was in Pretoria last time, right? You remember? So now, um, excuse my hair. I'm trying to. <laughs> so the visa is there, and we are going. They brought it by Korea, so we're going to pick it. I dropped mine, and I dropped for France as well. So we're going to. Why are you talking my vlog? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to appear, don't talk. <laughs> so, but we'll still appear when we are going to the airport tomorrow. Yeah, so, guys, the airport, no? <laughs> so guys, we're going to. Um, it's one o'clock. I need to join prayer meeting now. What is this? The dog car? Yes. No <laughs> ways. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to pick the visa. The courier called us saying that it's here, and I was like, let me vlog it for you because I'll be telling you stories. So, I want you guys to you know, follow up with me when I'm building up my testimony. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. Can you see what the Lord 
Where's the AF tracking lock? Oh, is it not here? Hello. Oh, that side. Oh, guys, I will just send you the message when I'm that side. So, guys, we get the visa. <laughs> No, it's myself I'm showing. See my hair hanging here. So it's here. Let's let's check it out. Ah, I'm excited. So my Dibana. Out. oh my god then i came down to morocco i'm done this is even my last day there um yeah i don't know if i should upload this before <laughs> uploading now my morocco trip or after uploading but i think i will upload it before yeah so that you guys understand the context and then when i went there it was just a testimony i was really grateful it went well i discover i have many new friends i discover many things you know uh I I was in a horse, Kalesh, you know the carriage, and also I, I was riding the camel. Oof, it was so scary. I'll show you the experience. I tried Morocco cuisine. Guys, it was really nice. You can see the glow on my face. <laughs> so that's it. And this is to say God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. So I will see all of you. By the time this is uploaded, I'm sure I will already be in Stellenbosch because I think I will upload this on, I come back in Stellenbosch when, on the 4th. So the 4th, on the 4th at night, I will upload it. So that's it. It come on the 5th, yeah, online. So that's it. And see you guys for more testimony, for more story time. And I'm going like this to the airport. I'm so excited. So see you guys i even forgot to eat my food because story was too much and too nice so guys see you and next time and um bye this is sunday so i'm listening to my church they are singing the hymn now my church online in selen bush yeah so guys i would like to take a moment to agree with all of you the bible says in matthew 18 verse 19 again truly i tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for it will be done for them you know so by the fact by my father in heaven so let's just take a moment close your eyes and pray heavenly father i agree with all my brother and sister here oh lord anything that trusting you for any opportunity scholarship open doors i pray that you will do it for them in the mighty name of jesus by the power of agree Thank you, everlasting Father, because it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. So, bye bye, guys. See my room. So, bye, guys. I'll see you in my, my next vlog. Bye. Follow me on Instagram. Do not forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube page, and activate your notification bell so that you can receive more from me. Bye. See you in my next vlog.